Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my goals for 2020. This is an open collaboration created by Christy at One Bless Miss. So please make sure you go check out her channel, subscribe to her, you'll like all of her content. And also watch all the other people who join us in the playlist below. Since it's open, if you wanna share your goals for 2020, you can do that and join in our playlist. Let me know in the comments because I would love to watch your videos. So, let me start by saying that, yes, I'm in my bathroom. It's the quietest place in my house right now and the place with the best light for the time of day it is. So, I apologize for that, but I wanted to get this video made. So, I want to start by saying that sometimes when we set goals, we think that when we reach that goal, we're going to reach supreme happiness. And that's not always the case because a lot of times that leaves us wanting more. What's next? And that's the way I lived for a long time. I would reach one goal and then I would be like, okay, what's next for me? I can be happier when I reach this goal. I can be happier when I do this. And I learned real quick, that's a fast and easy way to let myself down and to really feel like I haven't accomplished anything. So instead of setting goals for myself and only doing them at the new year when people do resolutions and things like that, I try to create routines and habits. And that's the way I like to live my life, is having routines in place and creating these habits that I can follow every day. I honestly, uh, sorry, I honestly believe you do not have to wait until a new year, a new school year, a new calendar year, um, a new day of the week. You do not have to wait to start making your life the way that you want it. Every minute, every day, every new day when you wake up is an opportunity to make your life how you want it to be. It's a fresh start. Every morning when you put your feet out of the bed and onto the floor, it is a time that you can go ahead and you can decide, I want to do something for myself. I want to start this new habit. I want to do it today. I want to start working on these things today. So really, um, they're not, these are not necessarily my goals. These are things that I've turned into habits or into routines that have worked well for me. Um, and I kind of started them at different times this past year. And because it's working and because I'm happy and I feel healthy and I feel happy and I feel at a really good place right now, I just want to continue these into 2020. So I am going to be looking down because my notes are down here. And I want to share with you just some of the things I would like to continue into this new year. So... Um, some habits or some routines that I would like to do for homeschool. That's my first area because that's such a big area in our life. Um, one of the things that I've been really trying to do is to simplify. I'm trying to simplify the amount of curriculum that we use and I'm trying to simplify how much stuff we have. I know as a teacher and as a homeschool mom, I accumulate a lot of stuff. I have a lot of books a lot of materials, a lot of stuff, and a lot of times that just gets in the way. So I've tried really hard to just simplify. I started by changing curriculums. We use a unit study approach called Gather Around Homeschool. You can check out my channel for those videos. It's an all-in-one, open and go. I don't have to do anything but print it off, and I get every subject except for math. Math is the only thing I have to add in, and um, Right now, we use Math Lessons for a Living Education, but I'm even looking to move into teaching textbooks next year to make it even easier on us. So, simplifying curriculum and simplifying the amount of materials we have. So, that's something I continue to work on every day, little by little, getting, getting rid of some of those um, extra things that we have that we do not need. My second area that I'm continuing to work on, I actually started working on this in February of this year and I just decided I was tired of being unhealthy. I was tired of being tired all the time. I was overweight. I weighed as much as I did when I was nine months pregnant with my son who's now 11. Yeah, I held on to that weight for 11 years and I just had enough. I didn't want to be tired anymore. I didn't want to feel bad anymore and so I did something about it and I loosely follow um, Weight Watchers and uh, it's a habit that I have to work on every day because there are days that I want Moose Tracks ice cream. And so I don't deprive myself of those things. I just know that the very next choice I make needs to be a good one. 
So again, it's about habits and saying, okay, I may have eaten that ice cream, but on my next meal, I'm gonna make sure I stick to the plan. And I just kept doing that. Every day I have to make a conscious decision to do the right thing and to make those good choices so that I continue, that I can continue to live this lifestyle where I feel better. I feel better, I fit in my clothes better. I'm more comfortable with myself. So that is a habit. And that's a habit that you don't have to wait until Monday to start or until after Christmas to start or after the new year. You can start it today. You can start at your next meal, making that habit of choosing healthier choices. So I wanna continue that for my personal growth to just keep making those choices. Make that be a habit that I'm going to take care of myself because it works out better for everyone when I do. My next um, category is family. And again, this is just a, an effort that I have to make every day. And my goal every day is that I'm spending time doing the things that matter the most. So that's spending time with my son, spending time with my husband, spending time with my family, with my dog, all those other things can wait. The cleaning's gonna be there. Um, you know, any of the homeschool stuff I need to get ready, it's gonna be there. My top priority is to make sure I'm spending time with my family. And that's hard because I love YouTube, I love Instagram, I love Facebook, and I am so guilty of just sitting there and scrolling, scrolling, and scrolling, and then an hour's gone by and I think, oh, you know, if I would've been intentional with this time, I could have done something with my son. So again, that's a habit that I'm gonna have to really work on and it is putting the phone down for only certain periods of the day and making sure that I'm intentional with what I'm doing. So that's a habit I've gotta work on. Um, for the house, a big thing that I see a lot is how do you homeschool and keep your house clean? Your kids are here all the time. Number one, I only have one kid, but I'm telling you, he's like five kids in one and he can destroy a room in seconds. He has a lot of toys, he loves to play and uh, Legos and action figures. They take up a lot of our house and he loves to play and I love to let him play. And so one of the things that I've really had to work on this year and we're gonna take it into next year is a routine. You know, making sure that I stick to my zone cleaning routine. And if you wanna see that, I have a video about which rooms I clean each day and how I modified the Fly Lady Zone Cleaning to work for me. So there is a video about that. And that's a routine and habit that I started and I'm still using to this day. So we use that routine and what I've done is just kind of folded him into it saying, hey, at the end of the day, make sure these things are finished. So kind of routines for him, but that make our whole house work better so that everything's nice and tidy for when we wake up in the morning. So keeping up those routines I created and also I'm working on decluttering. I have, um, a YouTube friend named Erica Lucas. You need to check out her channel if you're looking for some decluttering videos and some talk about being uh, minimalistic. She is your channel to go to, so definitely go check her out. Um, she has really inspired me to just start small and declutter. And I have to remind myself, because I'm one of these people that wanna go in and get it all done at one time and then I get overwhelmed. So I have to remind myself we didn't accumulate all this stuff in one week and we're not gonna be able to declutter it in one week, that we have to do it small. And so because I've been watching her, um, she inspires me and so I will go to my closet and pull out, you know, if I can just pull out 10 things when I'm cleaning that, um, when I'm cleaning my master bedroom. And in the kitchen, when I did the kitchen zone the other day, I went to one cabinet and I'm like, if I can clear out 10 things from our kitchen that we don't use anymore, that will help. And so that's a habit I want to continue doing is to declutter and then to make sure I'm not bringing things in unless I really, really need them. So those are some habits I'm working on for the house. My last area that I'm working on, and I'm, you know, I started this YouTube channel at the end of July and it has been so much fun. It has really been a way for me to just let out, um, you know, things that I'm, I love to talk about and I, it, it gives me a way to be creative and I love talking about homeschooling and planning and curriculum so I love YouTube and my kind of my goal for that was to have 500 subscribers by the end of the year and so I'm totally pumped about that like that makes me so happy that 500 people have wanted to watch me and listen to me so that makes me super happy and I'm so appreciative 
And now my goal is just to keep, keep up the work, to keep making videos that people want to see, to keep talking about the things I love, like curriculum and like homeschooling and like planning and sharing those with you on here um, and answering questions and being there for the people that do watch my videos. My goal is to reach 1,000. And from there, I just want to keep going. Like I want my, um, right now I do have a routine. I make videos on certain days and I plan out which videos I want to put out. And I just want to keep that up. I want to keep this going, this momentum going. I want to put out these videos. And I want to try something new. I'm a cleaner by nature, and I love to watch cleaning videos. So I'm trying to decide if, like, maybe two days out of the month that I put out a cleaning video. I don't know because the cleaning videos I watch, like, the people are, like, dressed and ready for the day and look so good and that's not how I clean like I usually get out of bed and pull my hair up in a messy bun and I have on my sleeping clothes and I clean like that and then I get ready so I'm not real sure but I'm thinking about it but my goal is to continue working on this YouTube and just building it up to where I have just this huge group of people that I can talk to and share all my love for homeschooling with so um just got to keep up the routine and keep up the habit of making new stuff and finding new stuff to talk about. So these are the things I want to continue into 2020. They've worked very well for me in 2019 and I just want to keep it up. When you find something that works and you're so used to doing it because it is a habit, you'll want to continue them and you won't need to do anything new. So um, just, you know, wake up with the mindset that every day is a new day. You can start right now. Um, achieving your goals and creating your habits and your routines and I just hope you have a really wonderful New Year's. Remember to check out the other um, videos in the playlist. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do that. Thanks for watching.